Hi, it's 10 p.m. and I decided that I want to make a video instead of going to sleep. So hi, my name is Miao and I'm a Christian. Uh, and I got the idea to make this video a few weeks ago, like, actually. And I was like, wait, why did I never, never think of this before? Superstitions, yes. I feel like superstitions is such a universal thing, but you can find it everywhere in the world. And so the topic for today is I'm a Christian, do I still have superstitions? Because I think like the common thing is people think is people say that if you're a Christian you should not, you know, believe in all this stuff anymore. So like for context, I'm Malaysian, which means I'm Southeast Asian, which means that we have a lot of superstition, okay? Like I said, I think superstition superstitions is everywhere in the world. But I tell you right, I think Based on, I don't know like I've never been to like the western world But based on movies, based on media I feel like the superstitions in like the western world Is like nothing It's like nothing compared to here Like if you think you have superstitions You have to come to Southeast, I don't know, maybe Asia in general But come to Southeast Asia, come to Malaysia We have a superstition for everything by the way, hi to Damai. I'm feeling so awkward. I haven't filmed this kind of video. Am I gonna upload this? I don't know. Alah, aku baru potong my bag the other day. It's like this. So yeah, there's actually like different types of situ sup situation. Superstitions here. Sometimes it depends on the culture. So like different culture, different races will have their own different superstition. Like Malay will have a superstition. Chinese will have a superstition. Indian. And then like, I'm lying lying. And then there's also like the general superstition. So I think I'm... I think I'm going to start first with the kind of superstitions that we are told as kids. So there are a type of superstitions, how many times am I going to say superstitions? There are the type of superstitions that we are told as kids that don't actually, they don't actually mean something. Like they don't actually going to cause something, but it's just there to teach us a moral lesson. Like for example, sometimes the, the little girls, they would get told that if you sing while you are cooking, so like you're cooking and singing at the same time, you will not get a husband, something like that. Or you get an ugly husband. Something to do with husband. Or something to do with husband. I don't remember. But but actually, the moral lesson behind that is if you are singing and you are cooking at the same time, you might burn the food. Another one is uh, sometimes kids will get told by their parents that if you sit on a pillow, it's like this kind of. Oh, this smells good. <laughs> this kind of pillow, and you put your butt on this, you sit on this, you will get a blister on your butt. Actually, I don't know if that's a translation. Bisol, what's Bisol in English? <laughs> I don't know. Bisol in English. Oh, boil! Not blister, sorry, boil. You get a boil on your butt. Now, do I think, do I actually believe that if I sit on this pillow, my butt will get a boil? No. But did I grow up sitting on pillows? No. Because the, the rationale behind that is why should you put your butt somewhere that you put your head? It's just disrespectful. You know? Yeah, there's that kind of supposition. That's like super harmless. That is just to ki teach kids a lesson. And it's told to us by our parents and our grandparents. And then there's also the superstitions that is a bit more than that. And this is usually like cultural. So like let's say I think it's a Malay. I think it's a Malay superstition that you cannot eat while you are standing. I'm not sure why. I forgot the reason why. But yeah. <laughs> and then there's a Chinese superstition that you cannot sweep your house during Chinese New Year because you will sweep the bad luck away. And then for me as a bidaya, I don't know if this is a bidaya superstition or is it just my kampong But I remember last time we went to a cave It was just me and my kampong, my relatives and all that We went to a cave and then they said that don't laugh inside the cave Don't laugh at something inside the cave because you will turn to stone And the reason behind that is because like the cave can be someone's house And you go simply just laugh at something in their house We also have another one where if you are going out Let's say if I'm going out of the house and then my Mom is there and then there's food on the table and then she says, Meow, you wanna come and eat food? And I'm like, no, no, I wanna go out. I gotta go out soon. I'm rushing already. Then I need to touch the food. We call it pass pass. You need to pass pass the food. So like, if this is the rice container, you just tap it. Just tap the food, basically. Tap the food container before you go. If not, then you will get bad luck. So yeah, those are also different types of soup. I think it's also like the common soup. I don't know what race is this, but... I think everyone believes that you cannot whistle at night because you will attract spirits, I think. So yeah, those are some of the superstitions that we grew up with and it's, it's very common. We have a lot more. I just can't think of one right now. I think it is a very, like I said, like, compared to the Western world, based on what I see. Like Even if I watch horror movies from like the Western world, their ghost is just the same ghost. Like it's just either a demon 
or human ghosts or like yeah basically it's just the same kind of ghosts or like monsters but bro if you come here okay let's say you come from malaysia and you say i want a ghost i want a ghost okay we will not just give you ghosts we will give you options do you want a pochong do you want a pontianak do you want a what's it called penanggalan do you want a langs langsir langsir i don't know how to pronounce it Langse, Langse, I'm not sure. Yeah, we have different kind of ghosts here. And they all have like different, different origin one. If you go to like a banana, let's say you go to a place where there's a lot of banana tree, because Pontiana, the ghost of Pontiana is associated with banana tree. So usually if you go to a place with a lot of banana tree, people might say that there's a lot of Pontiana there. And then there's ghosts that is like pregnant woman. I think Pontiana is a pregnant woman. Lang Langse, how do you pronounce it man? Langsui, Langsuya, Langsuya? I think that one is also something to do with pregnant woman who lost a child or something like that. So yeah, basically if you come here, you ask for ghosts, we give you assortment of ghosts. And I think that's what kind of what I love about being Southeast Asian. It's like we have so much culture. Like we have, we have so many things. I think it's also a Malay, another Malay superstition I think is if, if, you, if, if you go inside the house, you should not step with your left foot I can't remember you have to step with the foot I can't remember which foot you have to go inside the house with with the correct foot basically so yeah anyway let's go to yeah the topic meow your Christian do you still believe in this stuff so I know a lot of people have like different opi opinions or superstitions some people really really believe in it like memang bulat bulat they believe in it some people think it's mengarut some people are just like eh, I don't know now where do I step as someone who knows Jesus <laughs> Obviously, yes, I I do not let superstitions run my life. I don't believe 100% in all of them. But I do abide to some of them. I'm gonna explain. First of all, if it's something I grew up with, I'm just damn used to it lah. <laughs> like, I just naturally, I don't, I can't whistle so I don't even whistle at night. There's just some things that I don't even think about. It's just a habit already. Like, okay, we have this traditional game, it's called Chongka. And we cannot play it past 5 p.m. It's a game lah, it's a game. You cannot play it past 5 p.m. Because then something else will join you to play. Now, do I actually believe that? But did I ever play it past 5 p.m.? No, <laughs> because it was a habit already. Do I actually believe that if I leave the house and I don't pass past the food, bad luck will come for me? No. But do I still pass past the food? Yes. Because it's a habit already, it's something my family does, it's, my, it's in my culture And it's just a sign of respect lah because someone Because someone invited you to eat and then you don't eat So the least you can do is pass past the food and then you go So those are the kinds of harmless things that I would do And also it depends on the people who I'm with So yes, sometimes it does kind of get Okay, I'm just gonna be really honest because I don't, I don't abide to all the superstitions and I don't believe in all of them. Sometimes it gets annoying when I'm around someone who is really bulat bulat believe in it. It does get annoying. But I just have to remember that that person grew up in a different family. Like maybe, the diff maybe the family, it depends also if the family is more religious or more traditional. I feel like my family is more religious than traditional. So that's why I didn't really really grow up with a lot a lot of superstitions but there are people who grow up like traditionally you know like memang banyak gila superstitions and they will memang pantang like like they have to follow it and even though yeah to be honest it gets annoying like macam I just wanna I just wanna take this thing and then no 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 okay, okay no you, maybe there's something attached to it you know that, that kind of thing so that's why it depends also who I'm around because I'll just respect whoever I'm around like let's say I go to my friend's house okay let's say I go to my Malay friend's house lah and my Malay friend don't want people to stand up and eat. Even though for me, I'm fine with standing up and eating, you know, because it's not something I grew up with. It's not my family thing. It's not uh, we're not Malay, so it's not our superstition. Also, we can stand up when we eat. But if I go to a Malay house and then my friends say, "Don't stand up and eat," then I won't stand up and eat because I'm in their house. You know, get what I mean? Or if I go to my Chinese friend's house and then there's something they don't want me to do because it's a you know a pantang or a superstition, I won't do also. Even though I don't believe in it because I'm in the house, you know. Now, there are also other superstitions like, uh, I don't know if this is a Malaysian thing or a Dayak thing or a Strawakin thing. But I grew up believing that if you go inside the jungle, like let's say you're going inside the jungle with your friends. Like let's say you begin hiking, okay, you and your friends all begin hiking. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then your friend like is somewhere else and you cannot find her. You're not supposed to shout her name. You're not supposed to shout the name because we believe that whoever 
is in the jungle is anyone staying there they can imitate the voice and then basically can lead you all sesat lah because now they know the name and they can imitate your voice also yes jungle jungle has a lot of i just realized jungle if like if you want to pee in the jungle you have to ask permission first because it might be someone's house and you're not supposed to like scream in the jungle or like near the jungle so like last time if we pergi camp uh, if we go for school camps and stuff like go camping near the jungle we always get reminded like don't scream we are here we are here in the jungle <laughs> Now stuff like that do I believe? To be honest, I'm not too sure. Uh I just choose to be safe <laughs> and just it's just easier to not do it, right? I mean, why should I kacau? Why should I buat kacau? Why should I be seen in the jungle when I don't have to? So, yeah, but in terms of like like spirits and stuff, I kind of do believe. I think it's just because of the culture I grew up in like we do believe that they could stay anywhere. Like if you go to a new place also like it's good for you to pray for the place because we believe that if you leave a room for too long a house for too long and no one is staying there someone else will come and stay there that kind of thing yes i kind of do believe and also like there's just no harm in doing it you know like this kind of thing so yeah basically how i deal with it is if there is no harm in doing it i do it if i want to pee in the jungle and i have to ask permission i ask permission je lah <laughs> there's no harm in doing it because there's there's nothing bad will happen if i ask permission whether or not there's really someone staying there really someone listening to me i don't know but i just do it because there's no harm those are the kind of harmless superstitions that i will do that i will follow but there are another kind of superstitions that are a bit more and yeah like for example i think it's in my culture i think i think i heard it somewhere that like something like if you drop the food on the floor you shouldn't pick it up again because it's already offered to your to the ghost or to your ancestors something like that you know those kinds of things i don't do things like maybe offering your food to someone or you know burning stuff uh, or burning turtles i don't do burning turtles i don't know if it's a malaysian thing or universal thing i only first heard of it when i came to film school So when I came to film school my lecturer told us that burning turtles is like a very common practice because people believe that it can stop the rain. So if you want to shoot, you say you want to shoot a scene an outdoor scene and it looks like it's going to rain, you draw turtles on a paper and you burn it and it's supposed to stop the rain. Stuff like that I don't do. To this day, I I am a second year film student, I don't do that and I won't let anyone like if i'm the director and someone wants to do that i don't like because i don't know what is this i do, i don't know what what practice is this you know burning something on a paper no so yeah those kinds of things i draw the line up so yeah basically that's how i deal with it if it's no harm in doing it i do it but if it's something like something like a bit dangerous already like macam playing already with the, with the spiritual world then i don't do it really but what's important is i don't adhere to the superstition out of fear like i don't actually believe that bad luck will follow me. i don't fear bad luck will follow me if i don't pass pass the food you know so i don't do it out of fear because i i know that how can how can going out without pass pass will give me bad luck you know what i mean so i don't believe in that and then obviously like i know that my god is greater than everything so he's with me everywhere i go like how weak is my god <laughs> that not pass pass the food will already give me bad luck and he can't pro- protect me you get what i mean any superstition that i do is not out of fear it's mostly just out of like habit and respect for the culture so something i grew up with and it's just no harm so i think that's what's important i think no matter what superstition whether or not you follow superstitions or not you do if you if you believe in god i think the most important thing is why do you do it you know cuz i think there is no harm in following it some of it <laughs> not all yeah so i i know some people will be like no like it's a christian you should be you know like like separated from all of this and i get that but it's not always that easy especially if it's something you grew up with it's something that's part of your family you know if some, there are some things that if you don't follow your family will see it as disrespectful right or your culture is like will see it as disrespectful why you don't follow this So I, so it's not that easy to just cut things off. Even with festivals, like I'm a Dayak, so I celebrate Gawai. And the good thing is because most Dayaks now like over time 
became Christian already. So now Gawai, Gawai is actually about thanking the spirits for a good harvest now. And it, and it actually used to be like much like shaman and stuff like that. But over time, you know, the diets became Christian, so it, it became different. Now it's just like, we just get together and eat and dance and there's music and stuff like that. So there's no more that spiritual aspect to it. So you see, that's like one way to deal with it. Like you keep some part of the culture, but you take away that other part. So we don't have shaman and stuff like that. Or in my kampung, maybe there's other parts in Sarawak that still practice. I'm sure lah, I'm sure it's still God. <laughs> the ones that practice with the magic and all that. Um, but the Christians one, we don't. And like, obviously, I also come from a lineage that has magic. People, <laughs> sometimes people joke. People have joked with me like when they find out from Sarawak and then they think I'm like a bomo. Then, bro, I'm not a bomo. But yeah, I mean, I think most of us do come from that kind of ancestry. Kan? I mean, I'm sure back then, I'm sure even, oh, even my moyang also was a shaman, my mom told me. It's like a common thing, but this is not something you practice anymore lah. And yeah, some things are still out of habit lah, like, uh, like what ah? And we believe that if you, uh, let's say you and your friends are in the car, and your friend sees something out the window, something otherworldly, you are not supposed to say it. Don't say it at that moment. You wait until you go home <laughs> and then you say it. So yeah, stuff like that I still do. Because again, there's no harm in doing it. It's still better to be safe, right? But yeah, again, I think the most important thing is no fear lah, no fear. And obviously, I, I don't, you know, that, like I said, there's like a line that I draw where I feel convicted, like, like this kind of stuff you should not do. Horoscopes and zodiacs is definitely, to me, is a kind of superstition, right? Even though it's not labeled like that, I believe it's a kind of superstition, like you're believing in what the stars tell you, right? So I don't believe in that also lah. But yeah, that's it. I don't know if this was interesting. Uh, I don't know, I just never, I don't think I've ever seen someone make a video about this. Yeah, and I and I just thought it was an interesting thing that I, that I thought of, my idea lah pula. But yeah, I hope this was enjoyable. But yeah, don't be scared if you come to Malaysia. <laughs> don't be scared. But yeah, I mean, needless to say, needless to say, I mean, needless to say, I'm still really proud of my culture. And I love that we are so rich in culture that we have all these superstitions and all these different things and different beliefs, you know? So that's why I thought it would be interesting to make a video about this. Because I don't think a lot of people have heard this kind of topic from from this part of the world from someone who comes from this part of the world where we have a belief and a superstition and a different kind of ghost on every corner <laughs> I love it though I love I love my I love being a Malaysian I love that we have all these stories and all this yeah <laughs> okay I've been talking for 20 minutes it's 11.35pm I'm gonna go thank you for watching God bless you